This video will demonstrate how to create, use, and manage custom symbol points within LiveCount. In order to create a custom symbol point, first, you must be on the annotation drawing canvas, and then select a point contained in a length run, manual count annotation group, or auto count annotation group. Once selected, on the right hand side, expand point style, and then choose custom symbol. You will then be placed in a mode where you can navigate to an area on your drawing you wish to use, and then box in that area. If you are unsatisfied with your selection, click Edit Selection, and then you can redefine the area that will become a custom symbol point. Give it a name, and then click Create Symbol. While we are on the canvas, you can update an existing run by selecting a point or points within the annotation group, and then expand point style, and choose the custom symbol point that you have created. To update all points, double click one of the points which selects all those in the group, and then choose the custom symbol point. If you wish to apply that custom symbol point to a existing style or a new style, navigate to Settings, Styles, and then either edit an existing style or create a new one. In this example, I will create a new one. And from the list, We'll choose the custom symbol point and then the, define the style as required. To manage your symbol points, click the symbol points link on the left. Starting at the default symbol points, these are the symbol points that Trimble has provided to you. You can enable or disable these points. So by Clicking the toggle, it will change its state to either enabled or disabled. One important note is that when enabling symbol points, they automatically jump to the top of the list so that you can easily see all your enabled points grouped together. Company symbol points refers to the custom symbol points that you or others within your company may have created. The one I just created, Demo 4, is automatically set to be enabled. If you wish to enable or disable symbol points, you can do so by clicking their toggle, which again has them jump to the top of the list. To edit symbol points, you can do so by clicking into the name field and defining a new name as desired. To delete one or more custom symbol points, simply select them from the list and then click the delete icon. You will then be presented with this message. Custom symbol points are global. So if you delete one or more, you are also deleting those for all users within your company. Any existing annotations which use these custom symbols will be replaced with a generic circle. Click Delete Symbols to confirm, and then your list is updated.